Be the cause, not the effect. Hello everyone, greetings and peace to you all. How are you today and what made you smile? My name is Mohani Sharma, the Consciousness Explorer, and I welcome you to my YouTube channel. Be the cause, not the effect. You know, I talk and I interact with many people which consult me about how to improve their lives and how to go ahead with their choices in life or I help them how to identify the opportunities they have. And most of these cases concern appreciation, seeking appreciation, being acknowledged or recognized or any form of emotion which is controlled by someone else. So in brief, they are not the cause of whatever happens in their lives. They are just the effect. They are just like puppets played by someone else. And the root cause is that most of us, including me, everyone, has a program in the mind. The program started with the education system, the government, the media, the movies, uh, offline media, online media, you name it, even science, mainstream science and the corporate world are influencing our behavior. If the people in charge can control your mind and can disconnect you from your heart, they control your behavior and they control your environment, including you, your society. So how can we become the one who is the writer of your destiny, of your own destiny? How do you become the creator of your own destiny? How do you master your destiny? It's by simply being aware of the words you use, the thoughts you have, and your actions in life. Are they influenced or in control by someone else or by you? So I'm not asking you to become a control freak. I'm just asking you to become fully aware of who you are. Don't seek recognition from anyone else. Don't seek appreciation from someone else. Don't ask anything from someone to boost your ego. Because that's what we are talking about. All the narratives out there Mainstream media, academics, corporate world, politics, religion, philosophy is all about controlling one perspective, which is called the truth or the reality. And some you can relate to, but however, if when you're closer to your heart, it doesn't resonate, it doesn't feel congruent with your authentic being. So go inward and ask yourself all these questions, not your mind, ask it at your heart. The, the first two seconds are very decisive. Whatever answer you receive is coming from the heart. Or let's say the collective consciousness, because your heart has a direct link to the collective consciousness, the universal consciousness, the divine consciousness, or let's say the divine or God, or the cosmos, or the universe, there's so many labels, but the heart is truly connected with the divine consciousness. So the few, first few seconds, whatever message you receive is for the soul, not for the ego. After three, four, five, six seconds, and all the minutes and all the hours after, 
its ego, making, creating doubts and fears. To go back to your old pattern, go back in your comfort zone, but your heart wants to break out, break free from this comfort zone and manifest its true authentic self, which is sharing love, light, compassion and light. Because at the, at the very end, the essence of life is love and light. Whatever is controllable is the effect. So are you in the effect complying to all the dreams and all those wishes and all those pictures which are created by someone else, someone else's narrative? Or are you more into what you would like to share with the world? Who you truly are? What your passion is. Your passion is who you are. Your core values is who you are. What you value in life. So let's step out the effect zone and return to the cause because you are alive and you are the cause of your life you are the writer of your life script you are the creator of your destiny and frankly speaking i made a free three-part video series about become the creator of your own destiny and a six-part video series become the writer of your destiny in which you become the cause of your life and how you can create your own destiny, your own reality, not from an ego perspective, but from the heart perspective. Because we are all one and all connected. We are one. So there's no competition on a soul level. No competition, no recognition, only love and light. On the ego perspective, there's competition, there's fights, there's judgment, there's approval, there's recognition and compliance. So which part would you take? Which part? The part of love or the part of the ego? It's all up to you. Love and light is the part of the soul, of your true essence. If you like this video, please comment, like, subscribe and hit that notification bell. Stay well, stay safe. See you next time. Cheers and bye for now.